welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my very first video in my series, It's a Hair Day. And I am super pumped about today because I am excited to be sharing my very first natural and protective hairstyle with you guys. With me being a working mom, a school mom, a mom of three in general, and a busy wife, you guys, it is so hard for me to just say, okay, I'm going to spend five or six hours today at a salon to get my hair done that is just not at the top of the list of priorities right now so with that being said i had to find some easy and quick hairstyles that i can do on myself so it'll make it easier for me throughout the week and i won't have hair troubles because y'all know how it is whenever you are having hair troubles for the week you don't want to take pictures you don't want to film you don't want to do anything you just want your hair done okay you don't want to feel like this so today i'm going to be taking you guys along with me just to get prepared for the week and just feel like my best i am my best when my hair is done my eyebrows is done i get rid of this mustache and i get myself together for the week however i am starting late in the evening because i did just get my hair but this is still going to be a really really good video that i hope you guys enjoy if you do enjoy videos like this or you just want to see more videos of you know some laid back face to face real life what's going on behind the scenes hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads and without further ado i'm just going to go ahead and jump right into today's video because i don't want to talk too much okay guys so i'm diving right in and sharing the state in which my hair is currently in i did cut it about six months ago again which i'll share why later however i wanted to show y'all how it looks before a good deep conditioner in a wash So up close and personal, you guys can see, I do need a good waxing of my face and today y'all will see the huge difference it makes for me. Right now I'm sitting down under the dryer. I decided to go in with my Tea Tree Lavender Mint Deep Condition. I usually let that sit in for about 30 to 35 minutes before washing it out. And then I follow it up with the Tea Tree Lavender Mint Shampoo and Conditioner. So when I'm underneath the dryer, I also use this time to catch up and maybe order groceries, read a book, or as y'all can see, get my feet rubbed. It's just some downtime that I enjoy and of course, the whole family is always where mama is. In the middle of my deep condition, I did go ahead and start to take London's hair down because she has to get her hair done too. You guys, my baby girl is going to be starting school. So we're going to be doing her very, very first back to school hairstyle. And I am super excited. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video.
Right now, I just wanted to share with y'all my view. The kids were just telling me stories and how they were excited about school. Excuse London putting that brush on her mouth, you guys. I dare tell her to stop. But I also just want to share this clip of her because London seriously lives to play with her hair. And this is just, this clip is just so her. Once I was done with my deep condition, I went to wash my hair and then I went straight to the mirror to section my hair off for blow drying. I did use some products like Tea Tree Moisture Milk as well as some Neuro Primer and just a tad bit of the Paul Mitchell Memory Shapewear. This way my hair is moisturized, protected from heat, and I can pull it straight as much as possible before I style it. Keep in mind, I don't want it to be bone straight like I would want it to be if I were going in for a silk press. Rather, I just want it to be straight for a regular blowout. Once we were done sectioning my hair into the standard four sections, I did go back through with some Owl Pui Styling Treatment Oil just to put it on my scalp and then all throughout my hair. You guys, I absolutely love the smell of this Owl Pui Styling Treatment Oil. It smells so good and refreshing. I just love it. It's probably my favorite thing to use. So here's how the standard four sections ended up turning out. It wasn't perfect, you guys. However, we didn't need it to be perfect to get the job done. And also, this was our first time working on something like this together, and it was most definitely a trust the process hairstyle, but we learned a lot through the discoveries we made. Once we were done, I did need some help with sectioning my hair off into the proper box sections. So this is what I decided to do. I decided to go around my whole perimeter with box sections and then in the middle of my head, I was just going to braid it down because we're going to be working with the crochet method in the middle and then I'm going to do individual crochets around the perimeter of my head.
up on the floor We know how to push the buttons to the core Or I've got you If we figured out what it's all about Takes a second and then we back it again Coaster ride for the triggered minds But I don't ever want us to stop playing Go ahead, to let me smile from for all just wanna stay close, don't say that we gotta leave ya Everyone is out of touch So again, I just wanted to do individual box braids around my perimeter and then a braid down in the middle of my head. Even though I am using the crochet method, I didn't want it to look that way. I just wanted to use the method for its quickness, but keep in mind this is only my second time ever doing it. So crochets, so I am working on my speed. Okay you guys, and my plaits could also use a little bit of work, but keep in mind that hey, I did just learn how to braid and my hair is very short, so for me to know how to do this without any weave, I was very proud of myself because coming from not knowing even how to do a plait at all to being able to plait my own head, I am very happy and very proud of myself. Okay you guys, so while I am braiding my hair, I am also applying just a tad bit of Shine and Jam onto my braids just so I can grip it a little bit better and it'll stay fresh and I can also keep my protective style in for just a little bit longer without it unraveling and coming down, especially without the box braids having rubber bands on the end of them. Okay guys, so now that I've finished the box braids around the perimeter, I just want to share the products that I'm going to be using. I know that everyone used different products, so I want to share the products that I had today. Of course, I talked about the Shine and Jam. I absolutely love this, but I also had to use some rubber bands for the middle of my head. And then of course, the oil that I use is the Awapui Styling Treatment Oil. And then I have my Passion Twist 20 inch Water Wave Hair. Of course, along with some hair jewelry that I picked up from the hair store. And you can never go wrong whenever you're doing crochets to grab your crochet needle. You guys, I actually forgot this the first time around. But then here I have both of my parting combs that I used. And I will try to have everything linked down in my description box for you guys as well. Putting the crochet in the hair on the actual individual braid itself, it was really, really easy. You really just weave the needle through the braid, and then once you pull it through, you're gonna go ahead and latch the hair on, pull it back through the braid, make a knot, and then pull it tight. And then as you guys can see, I'm just twisting my natural hair into the weave and tucking it so you can't see it. Really easy process. Towards the end, I will show, you know, just some better up close clips, but Truly, it's an easy process to get done. And once you get the hang of it, you go super fast.
So now that I have finished putting the passion twist in the middle of my head, I want to share with you guys how it looks so far before I even add the individual strands. You can most definitely tell that this is the crochet method. However, whenever I add the individual strands to the front, it will not look like this and there's going to be a huge difference. And you can tell just by looking at the back because you cannot tell that this is the crochet method at all and I was so in love. Here again, I just wanted to share up close exactly what I was doing to the individual strands so you guys couldn't tell, you know, where my natural hair was. I know that my hair is pretty short, but that kind of makes it hard to do individual strands because my hair, my real hair will stick out at the top of the braid and it will not look natural and cute at all. So I had to make sure that I was tucking it and twisting it so you couldn't tell where my natural hair was and it blended really, really nice. Now, as you guys can see that Cisco, he was not letting up you guys until I gave him some loving. So Cisco was right there with me the whole time and I just love that about him. But I'm just going to finish up, but I hope so far that you guys can see exactly how I'm doing this. And if you try to do it, it comes easy for you. So once I was completely finished adding the individuals to the front of my head, I just wanted to share with you guys how my head looks. It was giving crochet vibes at the top of my head, but that could have been easily resolved if I would have added a third row of individual box braids in the front. Even though I didn't, next time I will, that's just a discovery that I made that I'll try to fix in the future. However, I want to share with you guys the two hairstyles that I absolutely love whenever I have these crochets in my hair. I love to wear big pump me up styles so I most definitely love to go with the high half up half down ponytail and I will usually add some hair jewelry but I, I don't know why I didn't add it yet to this look. And then my second style that I really love to wear is the half up bun and then half down with the hair jewelry in the front. Y'all know if you saw my picture on Instagram, this is literally the look that I wear every single day. It makes me feel so beautiful. I love how the hair falls down in front of my face, but I also have hair behind me. And it's not too much in my face, you know what I mean? So you guys will see that in just a second. These are my two favorite hairstyles that I absolutely love to wear whenever I have the crochet method.
isn't in my birthday yet Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of all right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I am super excited about this look because it is a lot fuller, so I'm really happy with how things turned out. I know you guys can tell that I did get these eyebrows on this mustache and this, you know, this chin tweaked up a little bit because that is a must whenever I get my hair done. I feel like having my eyebrows and my face wax, it really does, you know, bring out the look and it makes me look and feel a lot better about myself. I feel like it pulls the look together, you know, whenever you have your face waxed. So I did go ahead and get that done and I'm super happy with how everything turned out. Whenever I do officially get ready, I really do love to just pop on lashes and then pop my outfit on. So later on, I will share a clip of the outfit that I decided to wear and me with my lashes on. I'm really ready to dive into making fun videos, especially behind the scene moments of some things I've been doing in the beauty world when it comes to myself and our family. Right now, I am still practicing my technique when it comes to the things that I wanna do, but I am really ready to share with you guys the process and the behind the scenes of me getting better and taking those first steps. I have videos coming to you guys that are like today's video, me doing my hair and just getting an easy do and up style for the week so I can focus on my family. So as I said, this is a really easy and protective hairstyle that I really love doing. I am getting better each and every time that I do it. So for me to accomplish this look, I am very happy. If you have been a long time subscriber, then you already know that I literally did not know how to braid. The braids that I put in my head, I know they looked a little crazy, but you guys, I didn't even know how to braid before starting cosmetology school. Like, I think braiding was the only thing that I didn't know how to do. Don't get me wrong, I could do like simple, you know, box braid itself, but I couldn't braid to the scalp. So with that being said, now that I know how to braid to the scalp, it's only up from here. It's only growth and I am going to get better. I will redo this look in the future only for the sake of my foundation because I feel like my foundation could have been done a lot better. But I am really happy with how this look turned out. Okay, you guys, so now that I'm done with my hair and I'm dressed, plus my face did get waxed, I wanted to share washing my face and popping on jewelry and lashes. I'm not going to be wearing any makeup today because I'm really working on my hyperpigmentation and I have been for the past year. So my skincare routine usually just consists of me washing my face and once I'm done just wearing lashes and going about my business. My skincare collection routine really just consists of Mary Kay Time Wise collection and I also have a few Fenty Beauty products because who does not love Rihanna? She is my queen and I love her. However, I really, I really love to incorporate those things into my skincare routine because it's really helped a lot with my hyperpigmentation and I'm just so happy with how my skin looks now.
Okay, you guys, so here's the finished look. I have my eyelashes on and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film my haul video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.